This presentation describes our efforts to analyze stormwater treatment statistics from the 2019 version of the International BMP Database. This effort is fully documented in U.S. Geological Survey Scientific Investigation Report 2020-5136 and the accompanying data and software releases. This study was done by the U.S. Geological Survey in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration. This presentation has 18 slides and will take about 14 minutes. BMPs affect downstream flows and loads by reducing storm runoff concentrations, flows and loads, and by extending the runoff hydrograph. This schematic diagram shows a stream and a hypothetical road crossing. The upstream concentrations, flows, and loads are on the left. The highway variables are in the middle, and the downstream variables are shown on the right. The downstream flows and loads are the sums of the upstream and highway flows and loads. The downstream concentrations are the downstream loads divided by the downstream flows. BMPs can improve water quality when they reduce the highway runoff contributions. BMPs also can reduce the downstream concentrations by extending the highway runoff discharge hydrograph over a long period of time to allow for more dilution of BMP discharge flows. Decision makers for DOTs, municipalities, and regulatory agencies need to know the effectiveness of concentration and flow reduction and hydrograph extension for reducing adverse effects of runoff on receiving water quality. This is a probability plot with total phosphorus in a log scale on the vertical axis and the percentage of event mean concentrations that exceed a given concentration in a probability scale on the horizontal axis. This graph shows the risk of exceeding a 0.1 mg per liter in-stream criterion upstream of a highway site and downstream of the outfall with and without BMP treatment. In this hypothetical example, a simple grassy swale was able to meet the water quality criterion because the swale was able to reduce high inflow concentrations, reduce flows, and extend the discharge hydrograph. Although the swales do not do a great job reducing low phosphorus concentrations, and some BMP outflow concentrations can exceed inflow concentrations, the combined high concentration reductions and flow reductions can mitigate adverse effects of runoff on receiving waters. The statistics calculated by USGS in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration can be used to simulate the potential effectiveness of different mitigation strategies. Decision makers for DOTs, municipalities, and regulatory agencies need to know the effectiveness of concentration and flow reduction for reducing annual loads of constituents of concern. This graph shows annual loads as pounds of total phosphorus from a Massachusetts highway with a linear scale on the vertical axis and the percentage of years in which a given load was equaled or exceeded on a probability scale on the horizontal axis. Although a grassy swale will not reduce low inflow concentrations, it will mitigate high concentrations and reduce flow volumes. This graph indicates that many moderate flow reductions and substantial reductions in the medium and high concentration events can add up to significant load reductions. This presentation will not cover the theory and application of BMP analyses in seldom. Please see our YouTube training videos titled Runoff Modification by Stormwater Best Management Practices and Seldom Simulates Runoff Modification by Stormwater Best Management Practices. The Seldom Wikipedia page has links to the YouTube Stormwater channel with these and other instructional videos. This presentation will focus on the products from the current study, which are documented in a report, data release, and software release. We will not focus on individual results because we produced more than 6,000 category level statistics and about 125,000 individual at site statistics. The report is Statistical Methods for Simulating Structural Stormwater Runoff Best Management Practices with the Stochastic Empirical Loading and Dilution Model Seldom. It was published as U.S. Geological Survey Scientific Investigations Report 2020-5136. The report describes methods and results and is accompanied by three appendix tables with detailed statistics for 51 water quality constituents by category. The data release is Statistics for Simulating Structural Stormwater Runoff Best Management Practices with a Stochastic Empirical Loading and Dilution Model. The data release has the analysis spreadsheet tools and statistics for individual study sites. The data release also has seldom import files with all the statistics by BMP category. 
the software release is the Best Management Practice Statistical Estimator, BMPSE. The BMPSE was used to calculate many of the statistics in the final report. To do our analyses, we used the 2019 version of the International BMP Database because it is rich with data and is available to the public. It has 526 test sites, 771 BMPs, 2,371 monitoring stations, 19,547 runoff events, 30,682 flow measurements, and about 375,000 water quality measurements. The International BMP Database Team focuses on lumped inflow and outflow concentrations. They combine data from all sites for each category and compare inflows and outflows. This graph is a box plot of total phosphorus concentrations from their 2020 performance report showing BMP categories. Some categories have increases, some have decreases, and some have no significant differences. In their reports, the International BMP Database Team provides summary statistics and three statistical tests designed to detect statistically significant differences in the lump populations of inflow and outflow concentrations from each BMP category. The International BMP Database Team's reports are designed to help users select a BMP category that reduces median concentrations of constituents of concern. In this excerpt from their report, we can see that lump data from all detention basins, retention ponds, and wetland basins indicate statistically significant reductions as evidenced by the three downward black triangles. The wetland channel has less conclusive results with two no reduction results indicated by black diamonds and one statistically significant reduction. The grass swale and grass strip results indicate statistically significant increases in median values as indicated by the upward red triangles. Our research, however, indicates that the median concentration difference is not the whole story. Our results, which look at ratios with correlation, indicate that wet PMPs reduce apparent concentration by dilution rather than removal, and loads from such BMPs can increase especially if the groundwater discharge or wetland plants also deliver some of the constituents of concern. Conversely, because swales and strips can reduce the highest concentrations and reduce runoff flows, use of these BMPs can result in net load reductions. The International BMP Database Team also has done many detailed analyses, including an effort to analyze effects of BMP design variations on performance. They attempted to estimate the effect of design features for each BMP category on the performance of BMPs with data in that category. For example, would the length of a grass strip define the change in runoff concentrations across the strip? They found that, with available data, the inflow concentrations generally have the greatest effect on outflow concentrations, but BMP geometry is not a strong predictor. This is similar to the results of other studies that use real-world data from many sites. Our study was designed to generate treatment statistics for concentration reduction, flow reduction, and hydrograph extension because seldom uses a black box approach to model the net effect of one or more BMPs at a site of interest. With a black box approach, we are given concentrations, flows, and loads from the source area and use transfer functions to calculate the concentrations, flows, and loads to the receiving waters. In seldom, these transfer functions are the ratios of outflows to inflows with rank correlation to inflow values. This approach matches well with the results of BMP studies showing that outflows commonly are a function of inflow values. Because ratios are generated stochastically by using rank correlation to inflow values, the simulation preserves characteristics of monitoring datasets. This is not the same as a simple uniform percent removal. For each variable at each site, we fit the data to the trapezoidal distribution and calculate correlations. We use the Microsoft Excel Solver tool to do least squares optimization to fit the BMP monitoring data. This graph shows the result of the fitting process for the total phosphorus concentrations. The concentration ratios are shown on the linear vertical axis and the percentage of values less than or equal to a given value are shown on the horizontal axis. The data are shown as white circles and the best fit cumulative distribution function is shown as a yellow line. The trapezoidal statistics in the upper left are the best fit values for this data set. 
For each variable and for each type of BMP, we selected the median statistics to represent that type of BMP. This is a probability plot showing the fitted distribution of runoff reduction ratios for 22 bioretention facilities, which are shown as thin blue lines. The horizontal white line is the ratio of 1, where inflows exceed outflows. Data from some sites with an excessive proportion of events in which inflows exceeded outflows were not used for the final estimates. The selected statistics chosen to represent the bioretention BMP form the distribution shown with the yellow line. All the individual site statistics are available in the data release. The categorical statistics are in the report and its appendix tables. The categorical statistics also are available in seldom input file format in the data release. Because the International BMP database is focused on concentrations, reliable data for hydrograph extension and flow reduction is comparatively limited. These word clouds indicate the availability of sites with seven or more storm events that meet flow monitoring quality checks. The smallest font in this diagram indicates a category with one site. The largest font indicates a category with 17 selected sites. We calculated hydrograph extension and flow reduction statistics by using these data. Because the number of sites with sufficient data are limited, we should apply the hydrograph extension and flow reduction statistics by using professional judgment. We generated statistics for 51 water quality constituents in eight major groups. The ellipses in this diagram represent the different constituent groups and the variation in font size indicates the number of sites sampled from 1 to 206 sites. Although the range in samples is much larger, 8 to 3,567 event mean concentrations, the distribution of font sizes based on the total number of samples is imperceptibly different because there is relatively consistent number of samples per site. From this diagram, we can see the top five constituents are total suspended solids, total phosphorus, total zinc, total copper, and TKN, which is total gildol nitrogen. Once we break the samples down into BMP categories, there may be little, if any, data available for a given BMP category and constituent. We should apply the concentration reduction statistics by using professional judgment, especially when available data are limited. This bar graph shows the number of event mean concentrations, EMCs, for each constituent on the horizontal axis and the number of sites, N, in the interval on the vertical axis for the selected constituents. The number of sites and the number of measured events per constituent varied considerably. Most sites had only a few measured events. The pattern is similar for most constituents. Most sites have 5 to 10 EMCs for each constituent and the number of sites dwindles as the EMC count increases. We also characterize the minimum irreducible concentration, MIC, for the 51 constituents. We calculated MIC values for each constituent and BMP with sufficient data. We tried to correlate the MIC to natural soil geochemistry for selected constituents, but correlations were weak. The best qualitative predictor for the outflow MIC values seemed to be the geometric mean inflow concentrations. This presentation is a simple overview to announce the results of our BMP study. To get the results, please go to the report page, which has links to the report, the tables of statistics, and the tools and data that we used to generate the statistics in the report.